Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Access Denied by Demon Arisen. It's from 2014, so it's probably not gonna be so great. This may just be one of my best tests yet. Well, I stand corrected. To mark my 30th chamber, woo, I made this test which I had a lot of fun doing in which I reckon it might be one of my best. The solution is hidden in plain sight in this simple looking chamber, which is far from simple to solve, and focuses on a reversible funnel. Difficulty intermediate to advanced. I always seem to get this wrong, so tell me if it's easier or harder than that. I had loads of fun making this, although it took a lot of work and various tweaks and redesigns to make it the correct difficulty. Anyway, I'm pleased with this one, and even if it isn't my hardest, I hope it is one of my best to date. Have fun. Alright. Well, let's get started, shall we? That's strange. Why is the lighting weird here? Did Demon Risen use B-Mod back then? That custom screen was B-Mod, right? Hold on a second. I know what's happened here. I just tricked Demon Arisen. We are actually playing Access Denied B 2.0 by Demon Arisen. Cave Johnson here, just a reminder that I'm your boss and I have the power to fire your butt whenever I please. And by your butt, I mean you, because to be honest, I can't even tell much of a difference right now. That's right, I am not happy. Some wise guy engineer thinks he's been real funny by wiring the electronic lock on my office door to the exit button for his test chamber. Sorry, this test chamber. That's where you come in, test subject. Until you solve this test, the door is going to keep telling me access denied, and that means I can't have my morning coffee, which, as you can probably tell, I'm in dire need of right now. Cave Johnson, we're done here. A remake slash update to one of my best puzzles from a few years ago, Access Denied V2.0 improves upon my aesthetics... Sorry, the aesthetics, design, lighting, and puzzle of the original, bringing this classic test up to date with my more modern designs. Difficulty, medium to hard. Music, Frankenturt by Mike Moraski, the composer for Portal 2. Alright, well, now that we've finished freaking out Demon Arisen, let's get to this. There's our funnel. We've got some nice, nice beam on work. I love these things, these, these portal surfaces that you don't have to worry about breaking the map with. Interesting, what might those be? Ooh, there's a death grill, that tells me that we might be fleeing out of there at some point. Who knows? Hey, and we're chill. Neat. Let me go ahead and save on that account. That gets us a cube. Does it auto-respawn? In fact, it does! What about this one? Does this one auto-respawn? Why, in fact, they both do! How excellent. So all we gotta do is this... And, uh, that's, an act that's actually not gonna work. Nope, that's- that's not how you- that's not how you portal. That's- that's not how you demon arisen. Let's do this instead. Much better. Let me put that cube on this button, and then maybe we'll swap them at some point. Who knows? Do you know? Because I sure don't. Oh. It just landed on this button for me. How convenient. What does that actually go to? Oh! Okay! Okay! I didn't even need to need- Didn't even need to come over here! I see how it is, demon arisen. I see how it is. I see you, as Earthrocks Rocks might say. Yeah, look at that! Didn't even need to go over there. Completely wasted my time. Alright, well. Do need it over there, though, so let's put this cube on here. Ha. Huh. I got really lucky with that- that cube landing there like that. Alright, so. At the end of the day... At the end of the day... We want a cube coming out of there, huh? Let's see... will this work? Nope, nope, can't- can't do that. That is not a thing that can be done. You cannot jump into that funnel. Alright, well, I wanted to load my quick save anyway, so there's that. Alright. Let's get the music back, please. Wait, did the- did I save here, or did the game save automatically? I don't remember. I'm a little bit... I don't know. I'm a little bit spontaneous right now. But in order to get back, it would seem that since we can't enter that funnel anymore, we would literally have to do this. Yeah, that's- that's the only way I can see. But then what? Then what?
Because there's a few different things we could do here. All of which depend on you not being stupid. And by that I mean... All of which depend on you knowing how to solve the puzzle. What are th Is that something I didn't notice until just now? What is this? Are these portal surfaces? No, that's just decorative, okay. I thought that might have been something important that I missed out on, but nope! It is just decorative like those. Right, so this reverses the funnel. Qu so we can recall both cubes from this platform, so the question becomes... I don't think we need to swap the cubes at all, really. Although... What would be the best way... to... respawn? Because when we're down here... Yeah, we can't see any of those portal surfaces, so that is not something that can be done. So now we gotta do this again. Take this, this on here. Cause we- in order- we have to have a cube on that button, and on this button, in order to get to the exit. There's no other way around that. Cause we've already established that we cannot make it to that, so we can't make it from that either. Unless you get like a really precise angle or something, but I'm pretty sure it would not be intended to bridge the funnel gap. That is our only portal surface. Cause like, we could do this, we could try and set things up in advance... But... Yeah, that's not helpful. And that's not really helpful either. Yeah, neither is that. We need a way... to recall one of the cubes while we're over there. Although, not really. That wouldn't really work, would it? Interesting, I am stuck. Well, not trapped, but I mean, I don't know what to do next. Yeah, because to get over there, we- The only way to get over there that I know of is to have both cubes on both buttons. And then once we're over there, we have to do something. But I'm not entirely sure what... Because there's no way to affect that cube. All we can do is affect this one, but then... All that would let us do is go back over here, which... Undoes what we just wanted to do. We can't come out of the portal surface up there because it has a death grill on it. Yeah, like that. Interesting. Well, we know at the end of the day we will have a cube on that button, so that's- that's at least a constant that we can... rely on. And there's no portal shifting thing, like, we can't put the portal slightly almost touching the cube and then, like, shift it over on that side to pull it towards us. That wouldn't even work anyway. Even if we did get a cube in a funnel, it would need to be in this part of the funnel, not- not this part. Because... if there's no cube on that button, the funnel will be pushing it into there. I'm not missing, like, a portal surface over there, am I? There's not something over here that I overlooked. Just the exit. Alright. Yeah, there's no way to make that gap. 
Yeah, that- you'll die every time trying to make that gap. There's that for ya, in case you were curious. When you do that... It's not... entirely too helpful. And, like, we can... rub it side to side on the wall there, but that won't do anybody any good. There's no way to be over here and place a portal there, as far as I know. And even if there was, it wouldn't do us much good. And it doesn't matter which cube we put there, because whether it drops from that one or from this one, it- we're just as helpless. We can't reach the cube there, we can't reach the cube there, we can't, like, bring it over to us, either. It has to be in this part of the funnel. I'm bad with funnels, I hope you guys remember. I've been getting better, thanks to Rector Rocks. But Demon Arisen may have stumped me, so I think, at this point, I'm going to pause the recording and resume once I have figured something out. So, I will be right back. Alright, so, I think I've figured it out. What I actually want to do is have that cube off that button, temporarily. I think... yes, that may work. I'm a bit hazy on the solution, but... just... I suppose, bear with me. So, interestingly, you can- once you get the cube off of there, you can funnel it over to here, like this, and then, you know, drop it in the funnel. So let's, uh, do that for the time being. And then we can take this cube and put it on the reverser button. Then, we can head back here. Actually, no, we want to actually be... Right, we want to be over here when we do it. Yes, because we want to have the portal surface behind... Do we, though? So we can certainly do this much, at the very least. There we go, come on. Ah, uh, we put our black portal there first. That way the funnel doesn't activate. Yes, I think we've done it. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so now we can go over there, and then when we're ready we can place our black portal there. The green portal will push the cube to a place where we can access it with portals. And then we should be done. Yeah, there we go! That was clever. That took me... Uh, I don't know, five minutes? Off camera? Come on now. Come on now. There we go. Now I just gotta time this correctly. There we go. Perfect. Wonderful. Excellent map, Demoners, and very, very good map. I like that puzzle a lot. Well, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!